salt has been utilized for centuries as a natural remedy for pest control. It offers an affordable and accessible alternative to chemical pesticides. Salt has proven effective against various pests, including slugs, snails, ants, and even certain types of weeds. The primary mechanism by which salt works is through dehydration, leading to the death of the pests. Although salt is an effective method for pest control, it's crucial to use it sparingly. Overuse of salt can damage plants, degrade soil quality, and cause property corrosion. Here are the best ways to utilize salt for pest control. 1. Ants. There are several ways to use salt to eliminate ants. One of the easiest methods is to mix a few tablespoons of regular salt with boiling water. Let the mixture cool enough to pour it into a spray bottle. Then apply it to the ant-infested areas in your home. For ants in your lawn, you can simply pour the hot, salty water directly onto any ant hills or mounds you find. This method is effective in killing any ants present in the nest immediately, but it may not eliminate all of them. Some ants build deep and complex underground tunnels, so even with a generous amount of boiling salt water, reaching the entire colony is unlikely. However, it's worth a try, as you may still manage to reduce the ant population significantly, depending on the size of the nest. 2. Fleas. A popular natural remedy for managing fleas is to use table salt or sea salt from your kitchen. Salt naturally absorbs moisture, so when sprinkled on fleas, it dries out their bodies. This is effective because fleas, like many pests, breathe through tiny tubes all over their bodies. When they come into contact with salt, it can lead to their demise. For this method, it's best to use extra fine salt, which you can create at home using a blender or food processor to grind the salt into a powder. Once prepared, wear a mask to avoid inhaling the salt dust. Sprinkle the salt over upholstered furniture, rugs, carpets, and other areas where fleas may be hiding. Brush the salt into the fibers and let it sit. Avoid stepping on or sitting in these treated areas during this period. After allowing the salt to remain for 12 hours to 2 days, thoroughly vacuum the treated areas to remove both the salt and any flea eggs or remains. Finally, dispose of the vacuum bag or clean the vacuum canister thoroughly to reduce the risk of reinfestation. 3. Lice. A vinegar and salt solution can be effective for eliminating lice. Both vinegar and salt have desiccating properties that draw moisture from the scalp, which helps prevent lice eggs from maturing into adults. Acetic acid in vinegar also disrupts the lice's ability to cling to hair by weakening the natural adhesive they use to attach to the hair shaft. Additionally, this solution can hinder the hatching of lice. To make the solution, Mix 3 tablespoons of salt with 5 tablespoons of vinegar in a bowl or spray bottle. Apply or spray the mixture onto your scalp and hair. Then cover your head with a shower cap and leave it on for at least a few hours. Afterward, rinse it off and use conditioner to prevent your hair from drying out. Repeat this process for 3 days to achieve more effective results. 4. Ticks. Regular table salt can effectively eliminate tick larvae and eggs by dehydrating them until they break apart. To use table salt for killing ticks, you'll need to apply it in varying amounts. A thin layer on furniture, a medium layer on floors, and a thick layer on carpets. In every room of your home, sprinkle salt on furniture, floors, carpets, and windowsills. Allow the salt to remain on the furniture, windowsills, and floors for 8 to 10 hours before vacuuming. For carpets, let the salt sit for a week before vacuuming. After vacuuming, dispose of the vacuum cleaner bag by sealing it in a plastic bag and placing it in the trash. If you use a vacuum canister, be sure to wash it thoroughly. 5. Lizards. Salt is a well-known substance used as a pesticide for controlling reptiles, including lizards. It functions as a desiccant, dehydrating the bodies of lizards and causing their death. However, 
employing salt for lizard control is not only considered inhumane, but is also illegal in many areas. Research has highlighted the severe consequences of using salt to kill lizards. 6. Maggots. If you find maggots in your garbage area or around your home despite your prevention efforts, use a generous amount of salt to eliminate them. Maggots thrive in warm, moist environments, so applying salt to their habitat helps remove moisture and water, preventing their growth. This method is effective for treating confined spaces, but may not work as well in open areas. 7. Termites. Salt is known to be a powerful adversary of termites, effectively killing these insects. To create a termite killing spray, mix salt with hot water to form a solution, then apply it to the infested area. The termites will typically die within one to two days. 8. Raccoons. Epsom salt can be used to repel raccoons, as they find its scent irritating to their nasal cavities. To deter raccoons, sprinkle Epsom salt around your yard in the areas you want to protect. Reapply the salt when the scent diminishes or after heavy rainfall to maintain its effectiveness. 9. Silverfish. If you have table salt at home, it can be used to repel silverfish. The salt dehydrates these pests, leading to their death. However, don't expect immediate results. It may take several days for the salt to be effective. If you notice silverfish in your home, sprinkle the salt in the areas where they are hiding. Alternatively, you can mix Epsom salt with water and spray the solution into cracks and along the corners of your home. 10. Beetles. Epsom salt can be a safe, organic method to deter beetles and other garden pests from damaging your vegetable garden, while also providing nutrients to your plants. Salt works by dehydrating pests, and for those with exoskeletons like beetles, the coarse edges of the salt grains can scratch their exoskeletons, causing them to lose their ability to retain water. This effect is similar to that of diatomaceous earth or coarse sand. To use Epsom salt as a deterrent, mix one cup of Epsom salt with five gallons, or 19 liters, of water. Combine the solution in a large bucket or container, and then apply the well-dissolved mixture to the foliage using a sprayer. 11. Snails and slugs. You can use any type of salt to deal with slugs and snails. Salt crystals absorb moisture, making them lethal to these pests when sprinkled directly on them. If you find a slug away from your plants, simply take a pinch of salt and apply it to the slug. It may start to writhe or produce more slime, which is normal. Within a few minutes, the slug will dehydrate and die. However, it's important to note that this method is extremely painful for the animals and distressing to witness. There are more humane alternatives for dealing with slugs and snails. For instance, you can collect them in a bucket and relocate them to a more suitable area, such as an open countryside. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.